health-related fitness is important for anyone who wants to live a physically active lifestyle to support a higher quality of life in this pandemic. So might as well engage yourself with some recreational activities as we welcome another semester. Hello, my name is William Resmaranara from the Bunturan National Comprehensive High School. I am your teacher in health optimizing physical education for recreational activities. Health-related fitness is all about psychology, personal health, and how activity influences us as a person. This is important for anyone who wants to live a physically active lifestyle support a higher quality of life. While fitness is a condition in which an individual has enough energy to avoid fatigue and enjoy life. Try to look back and reflect on your day's activity. Do you have lots of energy or do you get tired easily? Today's episode is designed for you as a grade 12 student to explore knowledge and skills that will help you develop a lifelong habit of physical fitness and wellness. Our lesson is based from the most essential learning competency, which is self-assesses health-related fitness status, barriers to physical activity, assessment, participation, and one's diet. And today, you are going to discuss what is recreational activity and some health-related fitness components. Undergo different physical fitness tests to determine the level of fitness in terms of muscular strength, muscular endurance, and flexibility. Compute your body mass index. Value the importance of muscular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, and body composition through HRF tests. Are you ready for our lesson today? Great! But before that, I want you to get paper and pen to write down all the important details that we are going to discuss in this episode. Let us begin. For you to understand the lesson, we will answer the following questionnaire. Your answer will help you evaluate the health-related fitness activities that you are currently engaging by answering the activity number one, quest for fitness. Answer all questions by placing checks on the appropriate lines provided. Analyze the questions and answer truthfully. What is your overall physical activity level? Is it very active, moderately active, active, sedentary or inactive outside of physical education class are you engaging in a certain form of exercise if yes what is it how will you rate your muscular strength or endurance level is it very strong moderately strong strong or not very strong what about your current cardiovascular fitness level? When you do cardiovascular activities like running, cycling, hiking, swimming, and others, what do you feel? Excellent, fair, good average, or very low? How do you rate your physical activity level? Is it advanced, intermediate, or beginner? Let us proceed to our activity number two, which is, which is barriers to physical activity. Listed are reasons that people give to describe why they do not get as much physical activity as they think they should. Please read each statement and indicate how likely you are to say each of the following by putting a check mark under your rating. How likely are you to say to number one, I am so busy now. 
I just don't think I can't have the time to include recreational activity between school schedule and my work at home. Is it very likely, somewhat likely, somewhat unlikely, or very unlikely? Number two, none of my family members nor friends are engaged in regular recreational activity, so I don't have the chance to do it. Is it very likely, somewhat likely, somewhat unlikely, or very unlikely? Number three, I'm just too tired after school to do any recreational activity. Is it very likely, somewhat likely, somewhat unlikely, or very unlikely? Number four, I've been thinking about participating in a regular workout, but I just can't seem to get started. Is it very likely, somewhat likely, somewhat unlikely, or very unlikely? And number five, I'm getting bigger and taller, so no need to do recreational activities. Is it very likely, somewhat likely, somewhat unlikely, or very unlikely? Now, analyze your answer. Enumerate your top three reasons for not engaging into regular physical or recreational activity. Device or think a solution or alternative activities to counter these factors from hindering you into engaging in a fitness activity. Let's go order by doing recreational activity trek and by reviewing what you learned from your junior high school PE class. Get your pen and your notebook. Imagine you are on a trek as part of your recreational activity. The left steps indicates the following test, while the right steps indicates the health-related fitness components. I will give you 30 seconds to answer. Time is up. Now, let us check your answers. Muscular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, flexibility, and body composition. Great! You still remember what you learned from your junior high school. A while ago, I mentioned recreational. From the term recreation, as an activity than for an enjoyment when one is not working. Recreational means relating or denoting activity than for enjoyment during free time. It refers to the time spent in an activity one loves to engage in with intent to feel refreshed. Recreational activities help you to take a break from monotony and diversion from daily routine. It gives people the benefit of the positive change from the stereotypical lifestyle and involves an active participation in entertaining activities that a person is interested in. When a person is engaged in recreating activities that the or she likes, it would naturally give them enjoyment. Recreational activities provide source of joy and relaxation to one's mind and body. And now, let us discover components of health-related fitness. Let us take a closer look at the components of health-related, which are body composition. Body composition is the ratio of the body fat to lean body mass, including water, bones, muscles, and connective tissues. Having too many fat tissues is a risk factor. Cardiovascular endurance 
is the ability of the heart or cardio and circulatory system or vascular supply oxygen to muscles for an extended period of time. Cardiovascular or cardiorespiratory or lungs fitness usually the one kilometer run or some other type of continuous fitness activity or the 12 minute run, cycling, the test, and many others. It is used to assess cardiovascular fitness. Well, flexibility is the ability to move a body part through a full range of motion at the joint. The seat and reach is commonly used to determine flexibility. Muscular endurance refers to the ability of the muscle to work over an extended period of time without fatigue. Performing push-ups and sit-ups or crunches for one minute is commonly used in fitness testing muscular endurance. Muscular strength refers to the maximum of force a muscle can exert against an opposing force. Fitness testing usually consists of a one-time maximum lift using weights or bench press, leg press, and others. These health-related components focus on factors that promote optimum and prevent the onset of disease and problems associated with inactivity. Participating in a regular health-related fitness activity helps to control your weight, prevents diseases and illness, improves your mood, boosts energy, and promotes better sleep. Now that you know the different health-related components, let us now get to know ways on how to assess and keep ourselves fit and healthy. The first one is getting your body mass index or BMI. For this, you will need the following a weighing scale, a tape measure, and basic math skills. Measure weight in kilograms, your height in meters, and compute for your BMI using this formula. BMI equals measure weight in kilograms over height in meters squared. Second is the zipper test. Its purpose is to test the flexibility of the shoulder girdle. For this, stand straight, raise the right arm, bend your elbow, and reach down across your back as far as possible. Extend your left arm down and behind your back. Bend your elbow up across your back and try to reach or cross your fingers over those of your right hand, as if to pull a zipper or stretch between the shoulder blades. To test the left shoulder, repeat procedures A and B with the left hand over the left shoulder. Have your sibling or anyone with you observe whether the fingers touch or overlap each other. If not, measure the gap between the middle fingers of both hands. Record the distance in centimeter. Use the guide as for test your cardiovascular insurance, we will use the three minute step test, also known as the Cooper test. Follow the instructions to determine your level of fitness in this area. You will need 12 inches high back or stair step and stopwatch. How to do it? Have the household member to time. Have a household member to time you and count out your pace for three minutes during this test. When your family member tells you to begin, step up on the back with your right foot, then bring your left foot up next to it. Step down with your right foot, then your left, to a pace that allows you to do 24 steps per minute. Your friend should keep you in place by saying, up, up, down, down, as you go, step up and down on the backs for three consecutive minutes. When you are done, sit down and rest for one minute. When one minute is up, take your pulse for one full minute. Next, 
is push-up. In this test, you will perform as many push-ups as you can without resting. To do a push-up, lie on your stomach, place your palm next to your shoulders so that your arms make a 45-degree angle with your body. Make sure your toes are pointing straight into the ground, keeping your legs backside tight. Push your body up, making sure that your body stays in a straight line and your hips do not sag your stomach should be pulled in and head relaxed and in line with your body. Do as many push-ups as possible while still using the correct form. Write down your total score. While well, muscular endurance involves the muscle in building a number of continuous movements, muscular endurance can be a specific muscle or muscle group such as the biceps, Making continual contractions over a considerable period, perhaps over a number of minutes. The following are a number of everyday activities that require good muscular endurance. Just like pump the well, gardening, cleaning your backyards. As all these activities involve a number of muscular contractions, over a number of minutes. It would require a good intensity of muscular endurance. It also vital for nearly all sports. There you have it. Now, you know your strengths and weaknesses. You may start improving. One of the best ways to stay fit and healthy is do physical activity. Because it requires the use of skeletal muscles that utilizes energy. You might have experienced that no matter how determined you exercise, you suddenly lose interest and when an emergency comes up, you feel like you are not in the mood. In fact, many people come up with excuses to avoid exercise. My question to you is do we get to engage in recreational activities these days? Because of the current situation, most of us are at home, and not too many of us have space to do recreational activities. Other reasons are barriers to recreational activity involvement, such as lack of time, social support, lack of energy, lack of motivation, fear of injury, lack of skill, high cost, lack of facilities, and weather conditions. Being physically fit also includes eating right. So, let's talk about food and our eating habits. Eating habits refers to why and how people eat, which food we eat, and with whom we eat with, as well as the ways people obtain, store, use, and discard food. There are also factors that influence eating habits. Influences to food choices are individual preferences, cultural influences, social influences, religious influences, economic influences, environmental influences, and political influences. How can we improve our eating habits? To improve our eating habits, it will require us to reflect, replace, and reinforce. Reflect on all of our specific eating habits, both bad and good, and your common figures for unhealthy eating. Replace. Replace your unhealthy eating habits with healthy ones. Reinforce. Reinforce your new healthy eating habits. And now, let us check on whether you learn about our topic today. In 30 seconds, get a piece of paper a pen and answer our questions. Your time starts now. I hope you have your materials now. Let's begin. Question number one for 10 seconds. This is the activity done for enjoyment when one is not working. Time starts now.
Time's up. The correct answer is recreational activities. Question number two. In any order, for 20 seconds, name the five health-related fitness components. Time starts now. Time's up. The correct answers in any order are body composition, flexibility, cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, muscular strength. For our final question, name the three ways of improving your eating habits. 20 seconds starts now. And the correct answers in any order are reflect, replace, reinforce. I hope that you got all the answers right. Recreational activity can be more enjoyable and beneficial for your health. You can make your recreational activities more exciting. This will allow you to keep your body fit while staying at home. Always remember, a healthy body makes a healthy mind. Join us as we engage different recreational activities, not only engaging activities that await you, but also additional learnings toward achieving and active and healthy lifestyle. There you have it. I hope you have learned and enjoyed our lesson today. In our subject, Health Optimizing Physical Education for Recreational Activities. This is Sir Will, your hope teacher. Goodbye. <laughs>